How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Welcome back, YouTube, and I can only welcome you to the chapter 6 of the Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign. Now, uh, it has been a hell of a ride. Of course, we are getting to the end, and I have, like, long hair, so it's, like, showing there, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, um, amazing stuff, as I'm very excited. We have Edith Downs, we're gonna go to Mrs. Downs, and also Leopold Strauss, um, but guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the last episode, and hopefully you're going to join in to see the action of this one and the sadness. We are about to hit the sad train. That's what's going to happen. A lot of uh, emotions. So everybody's welcome on the roller coaster. Subscribe if you're new. Smash the notification button. And of course, to leave that thumbs up, because I really appreciate it. And hopefully you are enjoying the content. And people, down in the description, as usual, you have my discount code for that 8% discount. And without further ado, let's uh, get back into it, shall we? So, uh, guys, as we can see, Lippo Strauss is freaking uh, flashing at us. And then we got... Uh, that sounded really wrong. Okay, apart from that, guys, we have uh, LF Downs here. So I'd say we start off with the nearest one, and we'll go for Leopold Strauss. And then after, we have Sadie Adler here. Sadie Adler. Sadie asked, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think this is visiting hours. It says, uh, got to be, ironically speaking, for what it sounds from the title, that means we are getting, and from the picture, of course, I think we're getting John out of prison. And Sadie asked uh, you to meet her at a Copperhead Landing to take a boat over to Sissisica. Penitentiary and rescue John. Finally, we're getting John back. I uh, guess Abigail will be happy and also little Jack will be just as happy Right for first of all though. Uh, is this in near the camp? Uh, no, it's definitely not near. Yeah, it is. It's near one of the camps Definitely near one of the camps. I have no idea. But anyway uh, Yeah, we'll get on with uh, Leopold Strauss first, but before let's eat something as we are left off where we literally Said goodbye from last time. So uh, let's take a stew ball. Oh, it's not even so helping. You think, you think Dutch has lost his mind? Or Kinda. I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. What do you mean? Micah. How does he know? <laughs> and we're coughing again. Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. So what's the true, my friend? What's the true? Keep an eye out, because we don't know if there's any more traders. Looks like my dead eye is not rising from the way it is. We are even worse than what we used to be. Jesus. Let's see if we can get something down to uh, increase dead eye. Even though I have a big feeling. Oh no. Yeah, we can. That's good. See if we can get down. Uh... Here we go. That's better. Get something more. Let's push it. Come on. Maybe we can get some uh, energy with some canned apricots. Oh, maybe not. It looks like if we're going to eat again, something may happen, such as coughing. So we're not going to do it. Uh, we'll get a uh, bite of Miracle Tonic to refill our cores and also our dead eye too. And in the meantime, since we've been to sleep in story time, that's uh, good on hoping. Wait, what's needed? You mean the firearms? Needed for camp guards. I'm guessing so. All right, let's go to uh, Leopold Strauss and let's see. Let's see what he wants. More like beating more old men and uh, sick people to their deaths. Let's greet him, Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss, how are you? About, about how I look. Okay. Uh, are you um? Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Huh? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... I... Debtor, oh, he knows. Strauss, who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. 
<laughs> like you. Mm. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. The freaking uh, thing that really kind of pissed me off there was uh, that he knows we're sick. And he said he's sorry for us. The fact that we are dying. But we said to him, we ain't dead yet. I will go, before getting the money from this guy, I was going to go to uh, the nearest location, which would be to Edith Downs. And we're going to go to uh, Mrs. Downs in the Annensburg. And maybe we find also the other stranger or the other guy that we meant to be getting the money from. I will change uh, outfits before we do so. What's the weather here like? 18 degrees, I think this weather, this uh, this outfit's not bad. We'll get something more. There we go, let's get something there. Uh, there we go. We haven't worn this in quite a while, why not? All right guys, I think we're here, we're in Ansberg. It's time to find Mrs. Downs, wherever she is. This is gonna be very dramatic, very sad and very, uh, very interesting to see how the last chapter provides us with a stranger, which is Mrs. Downs. And uh, probably will give us uh, the chance to redeem our honor, to redeem ourselves as a man for what we did to her husband when he was uh, in his last days. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm not. Yeah, you might want to get out of the way, bro. Thank you. Alright, let's see where she's at. Says she's uh out here somewhere. I said hell even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure. Because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> what the hell? They just trolled her. I wanna be pissing needles tomorrow. Bro, you were just mean to this poor woman. This is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than is anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See. Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. She's got a chicken pots. That's why she's, uh. That's why they were taking the mick out of her, saying, I don't want to piss needles tomorrow. So I'm saying, I'm going to the mine and helping this kid out. Since what I did to this family was just wrong. Jesus Christ. It's time to, uh. See what this is happening. They were taking a mick out of her because she's got chicken pots. That's a bad time to be a prostitute, I'd say. Ah, oh, let's put that cinematic. I love the cinematic. I've been using it so much now. Wherever I find these little spots, uh, I let the cinematic do the work. What? Oh, your mouth's a whore. That's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Yep, let's intervene like oh, this. Right. Oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. 
Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. That's right, get it. Take your hands off me. Who shot that, huh? Get out of here. That's right, counter. Let's go. Get off me. Go on, finish that fool. It's what you want, huh? Now we're talking. I could have got my knife out of the machete. Who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, mate. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. It's good honor, even though I'm Max. I'm gonna pick up my hat while we're at it. I wouldn't say easy, but uh, de quite a depressing. Jesus Christ. I was wondering whether to kill him or not, but my honor would have gone down. So I decided not to uh, do anything stupid other than beat him up, but uh, that was pretty intense. The fact that everybody can see that I am sick, everybody, even strangers, will uh, notice from my face that I'm weak and sick, as they said. It's pretty bad. All right, we'll collect the money for uh, for Leopold Strauss over here from uh, J. John Weathers. And of course, we'll try. Uh, I love the drifting. These drifting things are so good. All right, let's go. Um, uh, oh, man. Like I said, I wish I would have unlocked. Uh, I wish I would have thought about using the cinematic cameras before. What the hell is this guy again? Finally! Hey, slow up! It's this guy again! Alright, we're gonna have to get in a fight with some wolves, but at least we follow the man back to his caves. Or to his cave. I'm gonna kill you now. What? Yes, I did kill your friends. They're about to kill me. Feral man. Alright. Come on. It'll be okay. You called wolves up on me for like 50 other episodes. Every time I come around these errors, it's you. Shut up like a freaking wolves. Oh, shut up. Stop crying. I'm gonna skin him now. Just saying. What about if I pick up the body? What happens? I guess nothing. He's just humping the wolf. He's humping the dead wolf, you disgusting mofo. Alright, I guess I'll leave you to it. See you later, buddy. Not really my fault. I did what I had to. This guy is uh, out of his out of his mind. Lives as a feral man. Lives with wolves. Accepted by wolves. My man's the Tarzan of the West. Idiot. Jesus Christ, calling up wolves on uh, any passers to uh, go around these areas. Out of his freaking mind. And on me, he, called, he must have called these freaking wolves about a thousand times. When I'm recording and when I'm not recording. Every single time. The most annoying man you'll ever meet. And I killed his, uh, God knows, mom and dad? And what it looked like. It'll be alright. They're only wolves, bro. 
Oops, my, my honor went down for that, but it's fine. I'll go back up with all the good deeds I'm, uh, I, will, I will do in the future, and I'm about to do, I'm guessing. I don't think Thomas is Down's, uh, Thomas Down's mission is, uh, or Edith Down's mission's, uh, Mrs. Down's mission is uh, over. Love the colors out here. Got the grasses uh, so colored. Look at that. So green. Snow, snow. These do look like some cold areas. Oh, we got a stranger. Apart from having the... Apart from having the money to collect, we've got a stranger up in here. We'll go for the stranger first, before actually doing the... Before actually doing the freaking uh, money collecting mission. We'll go for the stranger. There's strangers popping up everywhere. Why not? Easy, man. I guess there's a road from here that we can take. Is he popped out? Is he gone? Okay, nice, no, good. We, we, we can still go to it. I was gonna say no. So yeah. money's on our left. Find John Webbers. I shall find him. Just not yet, my friend. Hell no. What a jump. Holy shit. I thought I was gonna fall. Wow, the colors are just so amazing. Easy. And look at the the view from here. I've been here many times before. It's just uh, it just looks good. So who are we about to meet here? Hey, what's up? Who Get are you? There. Can you help? Most likely, if you tell me what's happening. Who the hell are you? Wait, I know this guy. He looks uh, familiar. He's got no leg. Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? The veteran. The horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg... I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Looks like I'm going to uh, get his leg back. Search nearby for Buell. There should be a freaking angry horse around here somewhere. With a, uh, with a wooden leg. I think I found it. And I can see the leg. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so, I'm going to hell for laughing at this. But it kind of, it kind of looks funny, guys. I mean, look at it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I will be going to hell for laughing at this. It's so dread. Yo, a horse with a wooden leg! There he is. Horse! Don't run off. I need at least the freaking leg. At least. Well, let's study his horse. I think we uh, unlocked every single horse now. I know it's spooked. This is worse than the Arabian. Let's calm him down. It looks pretty calm to me now. Can I pat him? Let me pat him. Let me pat him first. Come on. You okay? Let's calm it down properly. All right, let's lead it. Let's go. Well, come on, then. Let's get you back. This is uh, ridiculous, but funny. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. <laughs> this horse is massive, and my guy hasn't even got a leg. He's a bit small for the horse. Now. Nothing gonna 
spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I love the way he speaks to the horse, though. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet <laughs> in you. Jesus Christ. See you again. That's a way to speak to your horse. All right, let's collect this money, shall we? Jesus Christ, that's a way to speak to your horse. You throw me again like that, yo, buck. Uh, I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. That, that remains the highlight of the freaking episode. Jesus. All right, let's get this money, and we'll head to Sadie Adler. I love the fact that he, he compared himself to a man. He said, I'm doing pretty well. Since uh, a little boy, or a young boy that came, uh, that came with me into the war, actually got to... Uh, oh, is it this guy? Please. Hell's wrong with this guy? A young boy got cut in half. Got cut in half. He only got shot with a freaking uh, cannonball. That's pretty funny. Oh, pretty funny. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna go to hell by for laughing at this again. <laughs> oh, this episode is something. All right, let's confront this. Uh, J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look. There's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Looks like the headshots. What do you mean the horses? There's another guy there. Oh shit. That nearly went to bits. I know. I can see it. Nothing I can do about it, buddy. Just gonna have to put up with it. Here we go. I think that's all of them, bro. Alright, I guess that's it. That's what it looks like. And that's your wagon gone, buddy. What? 
can see why he's an objector. Probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Absolve the debt. I'm gonna go with uh, absolve the debt. I don't care about Leopold Strauss. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about kindness. I don't know nothing about kindness. I think we are being very kind lately. <laughs> the debt has been absolved. Meaning, uh, we're probably going to get in a fight with Leopold Strauss at some point. But it's time to go uh, to Sadie. Oh, wait. Wait. Arthur Londonderry. And then we also got Edith Downs down here again. You guys, like I said, I always tend to uh, kind of do two strangers in a one, uh, one main mission. But today, there is so much to do. And there are so many good strangers to do that we are going to Edith Downs. I want to finish this, uh, this off for uh, to see what happens within this, uh, within this episode. And to also see what happens with the, with the story of uh, Thomas Downs. I'm so curious. It can't be good, but it cannot also be that bad, the things that we are doing. We are being way too kind, and that's because we have realized that we have no way but to leave this world at least with some kind gestures in our legacy. All right, we're back in uh, freaking uh, Ansberg, and we're at the mining again. So it's time to find this guy, see if we can do the debt properly and not get killed. It's a hell of a journey getting in here. Hopefully we don't fall. That's a good uh, good catch, Arthur. Assassin's Creed style, my friend. And then we fall over. Damn, that hurt. Yeah, it did. All right, we're good. We're all good. Let's try and find this guy, shall we? He should be in here, the mining. Uh, this guy is cool like us. He's Arthur London Ferry, right? Let's collect this debt properly. Probably not in here. Oh, we can question the guard. I don't think it's him. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was there you go, Londonderry, not London Ferry. Londonderry. Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. So you're saying uh, I gotta go inside the actual, the actual mine? Hello, Mister. Looks like they're letting me in the mine because usually if you do come in here and you don't wor work for them. Uh, if you don't work in here, you usually get shot at by the guards, but the guard actually gave me the go. I can go in here for once. Okay. Let's get in there. And, uh... We'll remove the waypoint. As it's getting pretty annoying. Alright, let's go question this guy, sh should I say. Let's go get the... London Derry! I thought it was London Ferry. Hello, sir. Howdy, sir. I think that's him down here, right? It's definitely him down there. See if he can jump down. And we can indeed. Arthur London there. Clear? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? What is wrong with this kid? This is the guy that was picking on the... You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek. But I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. Also, so true. You had a point. Known, uh, the known location of the target has been updated on the map with the dollar sign. And it's over here. It's around to uh, go here. Okay, so Mrs. London Dairy. Fair enough. Looks like... Uh, okay, we're going to go and help Edith, though. We'll go to Edith. Looks pretty bad to me, if you ask me. I mean, they've got to be ashamed of themselves. So he's dead, and they take the mick out of him because he's dead. 
But then again, it ain't as shameful as actually lending the money. So that's Strauss for you. How do I get out of here? He's got to... Trying to. Trying to, my friend. I'm trying to. Hopefully, don't get any guards on me. On your way now. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Everybody's taking the mick out of widows here. Can you not leave the widows alone? Come on, horse. I can't run all the way. Where the hell is my horse? I was going to say, do not jump from the cliff. That happened to me once with the previous horse. It actually jumped, it, it jumped from the freaking that's cliff. Cool, it's still got blood on it. And then again, that's because I've got a, I've got a, I've a brush uh, or cleaner off with some, uh, some water. I will do that when we can. It's you, my friend. This guy is your mysterious. Oh, indeed. Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. Thank you, brother. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it over. Oh yeah, the the trap. He got trapped in his own freaking trap. Uh, and he was actually talking about us just before we arrived. Well, I will go into uh, the gunsmith really quick just before visiting Edith. And maybe clean my weapons and stuff like that. With our... Uh... So I don't need to buy anything. I'll probably buy some ammunition. Hey friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. Lodging? No, I don't need the lodging. So uh, we'll go for the customization. And we'll buy some... Uh... Here we go, we can clean the weapon. Can we do more than just that? Okay, I guess we've done what we've done. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, it doesn't really cost that much. And I've got enough money. So let's go to Edith. All right, girl. All right, let's see if we can find uh, Mrs. Downs, wherever she may be. Okay. Hey, Good what's Lord. up? Back my bad, my bad, my bad, bro. My bad. Just defuse him. Thought I was gonna get a bounty level. That that's definitely uh, Thomas, not Thomas. Jack, or whatever his freaking name is. Right here, Mr. Morgan. Archie, you Archie. Still here, kid? Yes, Mama. Uh, Mama can't leave. Uh, won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to oh, take. Oh God. <laughs> the pride on this woman. She's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out, working. You know. I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. Well, she ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Let's hope this, uh... Let's hope Miss Downs doesn't die on him as well. I mean, it's good enough losing one parent. It's bad enough, should I say. What the hell was wrong with the, with the reins there? Alright, let's head... Uh, let's see if we can get Mrs. Downs back for the kid. This kid must go through hell right now. This kid is definitely going through hell. Wait a minute. We haven't selected a waypoint, so I don't know where... Okay, no. It's definitely this way. There's no even point putting it in uh, cinematic. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Gotta make it quick. Don't want this uh, woman dying on us. Easy, easy. So that's your trail at the bridge. Any trails? See if we put it in eagle vision. Here we go. Focus on horse track. My pleasure. Yep. 
It's definitely this way. Follow the trail. I think we found what we were looking for. This is definitely the horse, so where is she? Or where is he, more like? Go to Edith Downs if we see her. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Uh, persuade Edith Downs to leave. I'm going to ask. I'm going to demand. I'm going to ask her. Nice, sir. Uh, she's so ashamed of what she's done from a mother to a prostitute. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. Nice. You following? This is good. Took, take Edith uh, back to Ansberg. Ansberg. All right, let's go. Let's not crash the horse with her in it. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. I'm sorry we won't bring Thomas back. Nor cure my sickness. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Because I'm cinematic. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. She's, uh... Ruthless, but she has the right to after the way we treated her family and her husband, especially. I'm surprised uh, she still is talking to us. Just look at that horse. Thank you. It's not the it's the least of my worries so far. Wait a second. Why am I? What the hell's happening? Okay, this is where we were meant to go. It makes more sense now. Oh, we can help ourselves. We can't really help ourselves. We're kind of we're dead as we are, you know. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. We can only do so much. All we can do is just help the people in need until our time comes. Yo, she just pushed me out the way. Mama, mama. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh you silly boy. Oh, Archie. Oh, we do. Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for for pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and 
Pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Guess that's the end of that. I'm never gonna see them again. And that's, uh, Mrs. Down's done. They will live a happy life and a long one. And she'll damn sure cure a chicken pots. Cause that's all you need now. Obviously you ain't gonna... Man, that guy was desperate. The guy that was about to get with her. Well, guys, I think we have time. We've got Marco Dragic over here again. We have time uh, to... Uh, I wouldn't say we've got time to save... Uh, to save... Uh, John Marston here, but we have time to do one more thing, and that would be the depth. I know it's a stranger kind of episode, or stranger surrounded episode, but I did it to finish Mrs. Downs. I was very curious. And very interested in what could happen, and what would happen in the Mrs. Downs uh, stranger missions. So, uh, I wanted to continue them. Or, should I say, I wanted to start and continue them. But I was I was pretty interested in uh, the strangers, and the essential strangers, and the fruitful strangers to the actual story. So, uh, sorry if I didn't do any main missions, but surely we will continue them uh, very soon as we haven't got many left as the, by the looks of it. Hello? What the hell? Whoa. I thought it was a Murphy. It was obvious. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be a trap, and this is obviously a Murphy. I've been, I've fallen, I've fallen for this before. I knew it was a trap! I freaking knew it! As we have been in this before, I'm gonna shoot him in that hole. But it hurts the most. Here we go! Bit of animations. Where are you? Shoot in the heart! Hard shot. That's what we want. Oh my god, I've fallen. Wait, how is he still not dead? Uh uh, you ain't uh, ambushing me and not dying. Where you going, bro? Shoot him in the leg, let's see how much he can take. That's right, stand up again. Oh, just wanted to stand up. And he's most likely gonna bleed out now. He's still not dead, he will die. But uh, I think uh, the wolves will get him just before he'll bleed out. That's what you get for ambushing me and trying to kill me because you want the land, which is technically not yours. This American land is a free will. In those days, free will didn't really exist. But justice is justice, and uh, justice has been served, people. All right, it's time to head to Leopold's house and confront this guy. And finally, understand why he's the man he is. And he makes me go around and threaten sick and uh, vulnerable people. My bad. Sorry, dear. My bad. Sorry. It's me. Right, let's hitch the horse and confront this uh, lowlife, shall we? Which acts like a posh man, a rich man. I'm gonna walk fast, cause so then I seem angry and it looks good for the moment. I'm gonna walk very fast to him. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us, if we could be shamed any more than we already are. 
That should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Jesus. How are things? Ah, uh, from the looks of them, not very oh, good. Here we are. I like what you've done with the place. As long as it keeps folk away, I don't care. Yeah. I just, I still need to get, all I need to do is, I've got every single, before we conclude, guys, wow, that was deep. Everybody watching while I kick Strauss out. Managed to kick him out. Yo, is that Trelawney? Trelawney? Yes. Hi, Arthur. Alright, let's uh, quickly check what other things I've got to do here. Let's uh, craft an upgrades. Here we go. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look so we got all the satchels. Uh, Offers lodging. All we need is the Kukapel covered chest. And a big horn ram carcass for the ram skull. And that would be pretty good. John's lodging has been done. I've done this all in chapter 3 or 2. Of one of the two. Uh, we've got all the tabletops. The chuck wagon has got the Proghorn Scar, which is looking good. Main campfire has got all of them, which were pretty fun to get. And scout campfire got all of them. So all I need to do is Arthur's lodging. And uh, they look pretty good. Got the alligator skull, which looks good. The boar skin table cover, which again looks good. And I've got the hide rug, which again, the ox hide rug, which looks good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. This will look good as well, though, to be fair. Alright. I guess that's it, people. We're gonna end it there. We're gonna end it there. And we finally kicked Leopold Strauss out of camp, and that's what needed to happen. As we see this, uh, this camp and this, uh, this gang slowly tear itself apart. Killing each other. And, uh, slowly falling out, should I say. It's pretty heartbreaking, but it is what it is, guys. So, uh, we're gonna end it there. Oh, actually, we'll go to sleep. To end it there, we'll go to sleep. And, uh, we'll pick up the actual... What have we got here? Oh, we get some hair pomade. What else have we got? Some cigarettes? Anything else? What is that? Candy. Oh, that was candy. Pet of the bait. They keep leaving me some stuff. I love their stuff. They always leave me... These are all the people that leave me all the stuff. I'll take what I can and take what I need. That's a flower. Is that a cigarette card? That's something else up there. Well, let me put it in first person. I'm pretty curious now. That does look like a cigarette card to me. That's the flower. I won't let me uh, inspect it for some reason. I don't know what it is, guys. I'll do it in my own time at the end of the day. Let's go to sleep. Jesus. And we'll sleep till morning. And, uh... So, guys! So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Leave a thumbs up, and in the next episode we'll do a main mission. Subscribe if you're new, smash that notification button. Down in the description below, you have my discount code as usual, and I will see you in the next one. Think twice and where's it going to? Think twice, but what are you gonna do? If this is the type of life you want to, just let it on you. I say,